Nostalgia is a funny thing, in particular when it comes to video games. We talk fondly of the classics we played when we were younger, be it games from the 8-bit, 16-bit era, the Nintendo 64, Dreamcast or PlayStation. Often nostalgia equates to rose-tinted glasses, though, as the games we heralded so much haven't aged well at all, or just weren't as good as we remember. There are some exceptions to that rule though, not many, but some, and Spyro the Dragon is one of them. Not just the first game either, but both the second and third game in the series. The classic trilogy that appeared on the original PlayStation still hold up by today's standards, gameplay wise, and few would have complained if Spyro Reignited Trilogy had just been a re-release with a HD update. It's not though, instead the entire trilogy has been rebuilt giving the game a new lease on life and allowing generations that never played them to see just what all the fuss was about. Spyro Reignited Trilogy is made up of the first three games in the series, Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, and Spyro Year of the Dragon. The story hasn't changed at all, with the first game seeing Spyro face off against Ganasty Ganork and rescuing dragons who have been encased in crystal. The second game sees the dragon go for a holiday but end up in the land of Avalar where the evil Ripto is causing chaos, while the third game has Spyro travel to a faraway world to rescue the dragon eggs. All very simple and something all ages can enjoy. There's been a lot of love put into making these the best remasters they could possibly be, and it has paid off. These three games look stunning, gorgeously colourful with little touches that will thrill both old and new players alike. It's as near a perfect remaster as you could hope it to be, with just a small issue here and there. Rebuilt from the ground up, Spyro Reignited Trilogy is a visual treat, especially for those who are really familiar with how it looked back on the PlayStation 1. Character models are easily to stand out and proven, but the little details such as grass, flags moving in the breeze, and fire really impress. Every world or level is met with glee as you wait to just see how it looks now and it rarely disappoints. The controls are more responsive and free control over the camera using the right stick is possibly the biggest improvement of the lot. This trilogy is easier to pick up and play than the original, which is, deserves a lot of credit. The team behind this remastering have worked hard at sticking closely to what made Spyro such a popular game series on the PlayStation 1. It looks and feels like you are playing the original game, but vastly improved in almost all areas. The areas where it is lacking are minor disappointments, but disappointments nonetheless. The most obvious one being the load times. They can be quite long, and really disrupt the flow of gameplay. Then there are these moments where the frame rate just doesn't hit the mark, resulting in the tiniest bit of tearing or lag here and there. It's great though, that the only real complaints are such minor stuff, because this is really is an impressive remaster of a game trilogy that is much loved by fans around the world. The original trilogy still holds up by today's standards. However, Spyro Reignited Trilogy has taken that and improved it in almost every aspect.